Hey everyone, as I write this, it's December 2021 and I'm in England. It's cold here and there's a pretty frost on the grass outside, but it's all very cosy, so I have no complaints. Christmas is just a few days away and here I am looking back on some more pictures from Spain, but these ones are different for me. These photographs were all taken with a Voigtlander Perkio 1. It's a medium format camera that I bought a few months ago from the annual Campkins Photography Fair in Cambridge. I didn't imagine when I first saw it that it was medium format, as it seemed so compact. Even with the lens extended, it's a modest but pretty cool looking camera. I've not had the best of luck with medium format in the past. I've tried a few rolls, but that was long before I started this channel. I'll admit that I've struggled with all of the manual bits and pieces like loading and winding film and of course manual focusing. I know those skills aren't synonymous with medium format but with many film cameras those skills are required and messing up these big 120 rolls can get quite expensive and dispiriting. I immediately felt something for this little camera when I first saw it I knew that I'd enjoy taking it back with me to Spain, and it looked like it could do with some sunshine. The camera is still all manual everything, but I was in the mood to learn. All of these pictures are with Portra 400. I dived right in and hoped I wouldn't screw up a lot of expensive film. It's a fun fact that the film and developing and scanning of these five rolls cost about as much as the camera itself. So more than ever this video is brought to you by the kindness of my Patreon supporters. As a thank you I'm going to start putting the Instagram links of my Patreon supporters in the description of my videos. It's an experiment, I'll see how it goes. I'll post details about it on Patreon and in the description here. Maybe you can check out their accounts too to support them. Now back to my slow photography walk around sunny Malaga. I often wonder how the camera and medium that you're using influences how you take pictures and even what you take pictures of. Here I was using a camera for the first time and a little uncertain of the process. I was metering using a digital camera and then copying the settings over to the film camera. If it's true that film slows you down then maybe the bigger the format the slower you go. That's my experience anyhow. With just 12 square shots per roll, it added an extra layer of consideration to the process of taking a picture. I would think, do I really want to use a shot up on this scene? Is there really something here that I want to capture? It encouraged thoughtfulness. It's funny though how we can value contrasting attributes. Thoughtfulness and consideration can be wonderful in life and photography but so can spontaneity and instinctiveness. I really love the Lomography ethic of shoot first and think later, but with these I was thinking before, during and after the picture was taken, but that's okay too I guess. At first I thought the pictures were a bit safe and static because of that slow considered approach, but looking back on them now, that contemplation before committing to taking a picture has paid off I think. If I dwell on each of these, however simple they are, I can see in them what I saw then. As for the photos being on medium format, it's interesting to see scenes that I'm familiar with captured this way. To me the pictures are filmic in their colours and tones, but they lack the graininess you'd more likely get shooting on 35mm. That grain is a cue that what you're seeing is a photograph. It kind of breaks the fourth wall and says it's a 35mm film photo before you've really taken a proper look at it. The relative fineness of the image makes it seem one step closer to real life and invites you to look more closely at the tones and details. It maybe doesn't have quite this impact if you're watching on a mobile phone but I like to assume everyone watches my videos with wine and popcorn in their home cinemas. But however and wherever you're watching, I'm very grateful. 
subscribe for more little photography adventures. Keep well and see you very soon.